Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Well, nice and clear tonight. It's comfortable, comfortably cool that is. Mid-50s floor or upper 50s Monticello. Still holding on to 59 at Lafayette after some scattered showers and thunder showers today. Very hit or miss, but now the skies are clearing. There could be a few patches of fog low lying and protected areas tonight areas that got the rainfall, but the bigger story for the week is going to be the big ridge, the big dome of warmth that's on the way east where it's going to send us right back well into the 80s for a change and eventually the tropical moisture here will flow northward. Trough comes in from the west. We're going to see a lot of severe weather in the plains. We stay warm. We will eventually get in on some of those storms. I would say a week from the start of this week. So it's a while before we're going to get additional rainfall. And if you didn't get it today, eh, it's going to be a while before we get any good soakers. But you can see the variability in the rainfall amounts. We had up to three quarters of an inch in the city of West Lafayette that you head up by Klondike. Not much rainfall, less rainfall as you head down towards like uh, uh, the Weah Creek area down here towards Linden and Romney, and we had up to seven tenths south of Dayton and elsewhere had a report of an inch of rain here near Forest. Uh, we had up to an inch of rain northern Montgomery County, but again, lots of variability and even parts of Carroll County had some heavier rainfall, but not much at all in Cass County and certainly the, the biggest rains were up near Chicago where we had up to five, six inches of rain this morning. The lows tonight 47 to 52 for a cool start at the bus stop tomorrow morning. It's a 68 to 74 high tomorrow. Think about tomorrow is we're going to have cumulus clouds kind of bubbling up like you see in this picture. And these cumulus clouds could bubble up an isolated shower or two or a couple sprinkles in our northern and northeastern counties in the afternoon. This is just some lingering cool air aloft to bubble those clouds up a little bit. 70 Logansport, 68 Wheatfield, but we'll get up to 74 at Attica. Tuesday, 69 to 80 as a warm front lifts northward. A lot of clouds. Some dim sun filtering through and there could be a couple isolated or very spotty showers around. A lot of it will be drying up on the way down, but some may make it down to the ground. So still a couple showers, 69 Winnemac to 77 Attica, 80 Petersburg as our warm front will be lifting northward. I can show you that right here. First things first tomorrow morning. The greatest amount of fog is back here in central Illinois. We'll have a couple patches around here and there. There are your cumulus clouds bubbling up tomorrow. Maybe a little sprinkler isolated shower up here. Note the clock here Tuesday morning. Here come the clouds in from the northwest. Here comes your warm front northward. This is three o'clock Tuesday. A couple little isolated to spotty showers making it down to the ground. Then that warm front moves northward. And after maybe a shower or two Wednesday morning after that, it is mainly dry and the warmth will dominate. Eventually some of this storm action in the plains will impact us a week from this week. So let's dig into this 73 tomorrow, 75 on Tuesday, but 83 on Wednesday, and it's very warm Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday highs well into the 80s, lows in the upper 50s to about 60. Finally, we'll get some of the showers and storms from the plains by Tuesday of next week.